Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna do a bit of a like more chill topic. Um, I'm going to be showing a bit of vulnerability in this video because I've done a past video about my bullying experiences as a child in school. Um, but I'm gonna go into a bit of a thing that I've been doing recently, which is like help me see like the effects as an adult of like having that experience and how it like affects my relationships and stuff like that. Um, I feel like discernment in relationships is really important and by that I mean um, like seeing things as they are and not like and like being careful with how you let, who you let into your life and who you let into your heart and but also being open to other people so anyway this is how I feel that some of the experiences I had during that bullying experience has affected my life. Um, in a past video I've talked about this concept of parallels in terms of you'd have to watch the video to see what I mean but it's in a video called I think it was my overcoming childhood neglect and abuse video I talk about how um this guy had this concept of if you look at um childhood trauma you have these I didn't have therapy for this but this was just a concept I came across which I found very true um you have these parallels um of you could have like a trust parallel where you want to trust but you can't because you've had like a trauma related to trust where someone's broken your trust in the past for example or you might have like a I want to be loved and love but because you've loved in the past something's stopping you from loving so you create this trauma complex so I'm going to be talking about a few of those parallels opposite parallels that are kind of barriers towards my relationships if you know what I mean and I don't know if anyone this could be interesting to you it could relate to you I don't know so my experience was yeah in childhood I was on my way to school and there was a lot of drama with girls my age and stuff and there was just a lot of stressful dynamics and I thought I was triangulated by a couple of my what well, fr an old friend of mine that I was having a lot of arguments with and this new person so anyway um which I'm like I've kind of healed from it mainly but I feel like it's still there's things that I've noticed in my current like romantic relationship that show up um in h how I react to things so um I feel like one of them could be oh uh, this is kind of this is quite deep this is quite personal like this is me exposing a bit I feel comfortable putting it on the internet but obviously like please be kind when you take this keep an open mind so I feel like um being isolated like isolating myself but then trying too hard so like yeah do you see what I mean so if you like have a situation where you're really scared in childhood you might isolate yourself in order to protect yourself from that but then you try really hard to like get accepted um another one is overlooking problems and then like being sad or maybe subconsciously repressing problems I'm gonna I've put, yeah I've put being depressed but I think be it like repressing problems is better probably a better thing um because I feel like if you feel traumatized or you've been trapped in the past in terms of a situation <laughs> excuse me um you can overlook a problem because you have to you feel that that's like the only way you can sort of like cope with it at that time it's like a coping strategy but then you'll like repress the problems because you're doing that and then you'll be like become sad because you're like venting the problems internally do you know what I mean so another one is like holding back massively and then having loads of anger I'm going to put them in like the, the same way as I've written so maybe having loads of anger but then also holding back massively because you want to react but you can't because in the, in the past maybe I've got really angry but I couldn't react because like there was so much going on and I just didn't know how to react um so also this is quite prevalent in people that have experienced narcissistic abuse which is hope experiencing hopelessness and then acting out internally or externally so when I say inter acting out internally I mean essentially withdrawing or you know like getting really sad or worked up emotionally or you know internally angry or frustrated or obviously like shouting and stuff like that so yeah the difference between feeling hopeless but then emotionally acting out and maybe not dealing with that straight away um another one is um isolating myself to protect myself and then feeling resentful towards myself others or the situation and longing to change it but being generally angry so I feel like all of this just relates back to that situation with me I, I'm sure it, 
it can affect it can be seen shown up in a, in a few situations in life but I feel like I'm relating it back to this specifically because there are some of my core wounds from childhood which everyone has core wounds you know what I mean um so living in vigilance um and being in fear and then shutting off completely oh let me read that again living in vigilance and being in fear and then shutting off completely yeah because I feel like they talk about, I've talked about in the past as well, this idea of hypervigilance, which can come with, I had I had a few traumas in childhood, not just the bullying thing, but I feel like um, situ a situation in my past, um, not, not related to the bullying, or it, the bullying could have made it worse, but I feel like, for example, I had a sexual assault trauma, and that could have made me hypervigilant to people and males, um, and then shutting off because you can't handle the hypervigilance um was something that showed up for me and probably still does um expecting the worst in people and then seeing traits of certain things that you've seen in the past and running away even though you don't know the person trying to conceptualize um my s and then trying to conceptualize myself as overly open i feel like as a as an ego retaliation to my own so uh, let me just explain that better, which is um, maybe like, I feel like you can see things in some people that you, you wouldn't basically repeat your own mistakes and you'd learn from the past. But I think sometimes as I've grown older and met different people, I've noticed that you can be afraid of something or I tr say if someone's done something to you and, and you see, you basically see an old person in that new person so as someone that's never even done anything to you is probably completely different to anyone that you've experienced in the past I feel like and even saying it now it's like literally eye-opening because for example if I was in a really bad place and I was being bullied by someone if I see someone that is similar to them I'll completely shut off from them even though I've no idea what they're like and the people are such a hybrid of characteristics so I'm literally shutting myself off from so many people because I don't feel comfortable being around that char characteristic if you know what I mean um and then and then on top of that I would then try and conceptualize myself as an overly open person I think that's me trying to like be open to accepting this and another person even though I don't know them um, because there's no one bad type of person. You have bad experiences, but I, I think intrinsically people are good. Um, you might not get on with everyone and you might not have everyone who be your friend, but everyone in some level is, has got a good thing to give to the world, even if they're a complete recluse and they don't really see anyone. <laughs> I don't know. Um, trying to gain lots of attention and validation and then being resentful. So yeah kind of self-explanatory being inappropriate and trying to scare someone off and then trying to be overly normal I feel like some of this can have overlaps with personality traits because I'm a bit of an eccentric person and I feel like being overly inappropriate to scare people off and then trying to be completely normal could be me trying to like blend in and that's normal human nature I feel like seeing these things as well as I would just quickly say like for example when I said being angry and then holding back massively that could if you see it in a different context is me trying to manage my anger and manage my emotions um in a social situation but then understanding like that massive um disconnect of being really angry and trying to find the middle ground and try and even it out because the idea when this guy was talking about parallels was to neutralize the parallel to make it even and neutral so yeah because a lot of these make a lot of sense even in any context so yeah if you've had a sexual trauma and you're vigilant then that makes sense like the brain's always going to try and protect itself like it's all valid at the end of the day but maybe just trying to neutralize some of the stuff that isn't necessarily needed in everyday life it's related to a trauma so even because the brain as well if it's traumatized like it will see the world through the lens of trauma and i've talked about this in another video as well um i've literally done a video specifically relating to li like seeing life through a lens of trauma and it's just really scary unhealthy and it's just it's just not very nice everyone sees the life through their own lens but freeing yourself from that trauma can free you to see the world in a better more positive light usually <laughs>
and less fear of all light as well because fear is often something that's I've noticed not even necessarily real it's it's a concept that you think might happen but probably most likely won't in a lot of cases um not to say discernment isn't good and you should like work walk into the world but you can there's a lot of freedom to be found in um seeing some things as a trauma and that it might it won't happen in every situation like you're always going to co come across bad stuff you're always going to come across good stuff um and that's fair enough but like not you're shutting yourself off from some situations if you expect everyone to be the same when everyone like you're going to meet so many different there's seven billion people on this planet and like you know what i mean um and i think i said yeah getting internally angry and vengeful Oh no, I don't think I was vengeful. Anyway, so yeah, um, being inappropriate, trying to scare someone off and then trying to be overly normal. Yeah, that was my last one. I'm not going to carry on because I feel like I've rambled enough. But yeah, I don't know if this was actually very helpful to you or not. It's helped me. I feel like it's a bit of a therapy session for myself. <laughs> but um, I, if you want to know more about these parallel things, I would go on to my um, video I talked about the um, overcoming childhood neg abuse and neglect. But I felt like a bit of a deeper video today because I feel like I've done a few happy ones recently. I mean, the only time I really ever show emotion on this channel anymore is through my singing. But life is literally so up and down and I literally don't always feel like, oh, let's do like a... I wanted to do a upbeat chat about um, something else, which I, f I might do after this. Um, but I, don't, I think life's not always about living an upbeat. Positivity is great and like knowledge is great. But sometimes things... I always... It's great to overcome stuff and share about that for me. Um, so yeah, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed my video and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>